collectors and action figure fans, it's the one and only Optobotoms coming at you with another video. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Premier Deluxe Class Skulltron, exclusively available only at Toys R Us. For the package, it's a little bit different than what we got with some of the other Premier Edition ones, as this is part of Toys R Us's Mission to Cybertron line. You can see you got a slightly different kind of look along the side here with like the honeycomb patterns of Cybertron and stuff, and then you got some Cybertroning there along the side. The rest of it is pretty much a standard package, you know, in terms of the box. The opposite side shows kind of like a uh, battle scene, which looks really cool. But then you got the Transformers text, Premier Edition, you got the Transformers Last Night logo, and then you got an open window that fully showcases the figure. Now, Skulltron is basically just a repaint and a slight retool of yeah, the previous released Steelbane, but a really nice repaint nonetheless. Then you come around to the back of the box, you can see that you got his robot mode, you have his Wavern or whatever, however you say it. And then, like I said, this is part of their kind of special line that also includes a repaint and slight retool of the Deluxe Class Megatron from yeah, a couple years ago. It's the one that turns into like the bomber. I really have no interest in that, but Skulltron though was one that I thought looked really cool so for the packaging on this guy that's about it so without further ado let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is all right guys so here we have skulltron open up out of his packaging and obviously in his animal mode if i call him a dragon people are going to get mad and if i say wyvern or however i say it wrong people are going to get mad because i said it wrong so i'm just going to call him an animal now one thing that is worth noting is that in the movie none of these guys i i think actually had names hasbro had to come up with them so <laughs> i'm kind of a little bit disappointed that the best they could come up with is skulltron i mean Really? That's that's the best that you could come up with. All right, well, here he is. Uh, really, the only thing that you're going to notice in the, the animal mode here is going to be the paint detail. You can see you got a nice copper color with some green. We did see Skulltron in the film. He was on the submarine fighting to kind of protect the staff and all that kind of stuff. And the coloring here denotes kind of like metal underneath water and oxidizing and kind of disintegrating and stuff and that's where the the new head sculpt in robot mode actually comes from but i mean it, it, it is it really any better uh than you know steel bane i don't know I, I guess it's a matter of personal preference i mean here is steel bane and you can see that really the only thing that's different are the paint details the wings actually kind of look like they're the same the back legs and everything look the same the little extra hands hanging out there the same you got the same kind of feet in the tail uh looking at the sword uh yeah that's the same as well we'll take a look at that uh the green bits are the same so not a lot has been really changed in terms of the coloring other than mostly like the armor parts i mean obviously these are like the shoulder pauldrons uh, you also have the uh, leg armor and everything the head here is different but primarily everything else is really very much the same now because i still think it looks pretty cool uh, i mean it is a deluxe dragon which definitely could benefit from being a larger scale figure and you really see that with uh, dragon storm which we'll take a look at here in a bit but looking at the uh, swords here you can see the swords are identical they're molded the same they have the same coloring so nothing really changes there i mean he's still don't get me wrong he's still pretty cool looking but i don't think that he's different enough to really make me enjoy him and obviously the robot mode is better looking because of the new head sculpt and you know you you do have some more of that kind of copper oxidized color for the chest and everything but you know it is what it is uh, articulation wise one thing i will say that some people were actually complaining that uh, his joints are looser than the steel panes i i don't really on mine it doesn't really feel that way the uh, joints actually feel fairly stiff a little bit stiffer actually so you got Got like the little neck section you got the lower section you got a section right here you got a section here you can open his little mouth you got these little bits that kind of flop around the little feet here can move around you can open this up and rotate that around get that spread around there you can create a, uh, a flying pose forum which uh, is pretty cool you got a flying dragon kind of thing but the the rest of the joints on them feel pretty decent i think now uh because we have seen the transformation uh as many of you know i don't focus on the transformation when we've already seen it before there's no point in doing it 
because you can look up the video and people will complain my video is too long so I'm just trying to make them shorter but <laughs> so uh, because of that uh, we have seen the transformation I'm gonna go ahead and skip it if you do need any help whatsoever with this guy my playlist for the last night figures is available to you so all you have to do is check that out and find any you know the help that you may need but uh, all that being said utilizing that good old-fashioned Optobotomous movie magic. We're gonna go from Skullatron looking like this to looking like this and uh, Granted this is a really cool look for the guy you get a lot more of those really cool paint details throughout the entire figure uh, Specifically in like the chest in the little kind of loincloth thing down here uh, You see a lot of the body armor is, is painted that detached so keep that pegged in there uh, You can see a lot of those paint details really do kind of bleed through and <laughs> everything it seems to want to be coming apart now But it, it does look nice. I just feel like they could have done a little bit more with it. It's not terrible by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, I mean, it's par for the course with these you know, last night figures and just Transformers in general that uh, we get repaints. Uh, so, I mean, I would like a better looking one, but you know, it is what it is. Now, uh, for a comparison, obviously here he is and here he is next to Steelbane. And again, it, the exact same mold. Paint detail obviously is dramatically different. Uh, obviously, I don't have everything all lined up the way that uh, it is on both figures, but you can see the only difference here is that face sculpt. Uh, this has a really nice, cool, kind of clean yeah, sort of appearance, whereas this one is disfigured and really fairly grotesque looking. I mean, I, I do absolutely dig that. I mean, the head sculpt on that is really quite impressive. And again, we did see a uh, knight while he was on the ship that kind of resembled this, so uh, that is pretty decent. I, I, I do think that that works out nicely. Now, I, I'm just, when you display these do you like having two that are basically identical to each other kind of standing right next to each other I mean, does that bother you for display um obviously the the standing thing is not very good that, that was never very good that it remains true but it's like do you like having both of these as two different knights to me it's almost kind of better to say that Skullatron is Steelbane but a later more disfigured sort of look for him it's like this is how he looked back in the day of you know, King Arthur and Excalibur and then as time went by them being on the uh, the sunken ship and everything that's kind of how he turned his look. So I, I don't know if that's actually the way it's supposed to be, but it, it seems to kind of make a little bit more sense. But you can see that a lot of those paint details that were on the original figure in terms of the kind of wash, you got like that cream and then some silver, have basically just been kind of, you know, same thing with the shoulder armor, the, the chest armor, everything. Uh, it all kind of is very similar. It's just a different sort of color. You got that wash on there, which does look really nice. So like I said, it's just a, a personal preference in kind of how you want to look at this. It's it's very difficult for me, though, to look at this and see it as two different characters. Now, for his articulation, it is the exact same. The head here, despite the fact that it is new, is on a ball joint, and it's really very stiff. It almost feels like as I'm rotating it, the actual peg is kind of like twisting as it's going around. I do not like that really at all. Feels like the, the hole is a little bit too small. You do have a uh, ball joints here for the shoulders. These little bits here kind of get out of the way a little bit. You can kind of flex that all over. Rotates here at the upper part of the uh, elbow, bends at the elbow. You got little ratchet joints right there. The wrists here do rotate, uh, but they are attached to the uh, little claws right here. So that does rotate along with it. Uh, nothing at the waist, that's all locked in together. You do have ball joints here for the hips, so you can rotate that around. You can bend at the knee, you can also rotate at the knee. The ankles can kind of shift uh, forward and back a little bit. When you put it back, all the, or when you put it all the way forward, it does make him very difficult to stand. So you almost kind of have to put it towards the middle to give him a little bit more feet to kind of balance his back heaviness. It's one of the flaws of the figure uh, from the very beginning. I don't know really what you can do with that maybe just take the whole wings off i mean you definitely could do that because those are just ball joints so it's like you know i'll pull the whole thing off i mean you can do that pull that apart 
and that actually might actually look a little bit better this part here I, I still not a, a huge fan of how all of this transforms it's a little bit I mean that actually looks a little bit better just as a kind of clean action figure I mean the back's not really terrible looking when you do it like that so and you, you can do that if you want to give them a slightly different look than what I guess Steelbane has but all in all it's a, it's a nice look for the figure uh, I, I don't think it's really all that necessary honestly uh, it is a Toys R Us exclusive so it's almost as if they didn't anticipate it being a very big seller just in general so they put it as a store exclusive which I don't know I mean if it's if they're thinking that it's going to be a popular thing I don't think they're going to you know put it at one store they're going to want it at mass retail all over the place but he's a cool action figure I, I like him but it's not something that I think you should run out and get but saying that if he is a figure that you'd like to pick up he is available right now at various Toys R Us locations so if you're looking for him good luck and happy hunting but beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optobotomous. Don't forget that if you like this video, so please hit that thumbs up button. It goes a long way towards helping me out, and I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed. It's free, and you'll get instant email notifications whenever I upload a new video, and you'll never miss out on a future review of mine. Or hey, if you're already subscribed, do me a real quick favor and click on that little bell right below this video. And double check your settings to make sure that they're set so that you get those email notifications. And as always, until next time, till all are one.